I've still got my wonderful guests, uh, Richard Case, presenter and turned uh, and pasta, turned pasta, uh, philanthropist and investment manager Gina Miller, and poet and lawyer David Nita. And I want to hear about your your um, your uh, things and what you're up to as well. But first. Model, here she is, gorgeous, Naomi Campbell, gorgeous she is. Uh, pictured alongside Michelle Obama, both have brushed off accusations that they are angry black women. Uh, last year, Michelle Obama uh, was, uh, said she was an angry black woman in relation to a controversial book about the White House. And Naomi Campbell has said this uh, month, or a couple of weeks ago, I should say, uh, that she is an angry black woman and she's sick to death of people attaching that target to her. Uh, we want to ask, are black women, come on, be honest, are they hard work? Are we angry? I think for all women, when you're successful, independent, you get accused of being aggressive, assertive. All those labels come to women because you've stood up for yourself. Mm -hmm. And so it's not just black women. I think it's all women that but get that. But an angry black woman is an actual... But an angry black woman is a stereotype. And I think those women who have progressed and become role models should remember that and remember that they're part of their responsibility by being success is to break down, not add to that stereotype. So have you um, ever been termed angry black woman? I've been, yes, lots of, lots of angry, um, disruptive, aggressive, and I, what you do is you learn to work with it. Ah. And I've developed, it. there's this ABC, you see, you ah. see? You can be assertive without being aggressive. Ah. You can be beautiful without being bitchy. And you can be, you can be creative ah. without being cruel. Oh, I and like that's that. a really good one to remember. Really good. I'll have to use that. So here are some of the terms that have been used. Uh, black women that think they're too stush, too nice, uh, translated. Uh, too much attitude, they're unapproachable, they're hard work. David. Well, it's interesting you introduced the two first ladies, the first lady of modelling and the first lady ah. of America. Uh, I've met them both. And they're both very charming, oh, look wonderful, at beautiful look women, look right? Look. I've not find, I've not found any any anger there. I've been totally <laughs> graceful, and I think the charge is completely groundless. I think people should be ashamed of themselves for leveling that charge against uh, black women. And bear in mind that. But hold uh, on a minute. Did Naomi Campbell throw a phone at her assistant? Isn't but, she known for being well, a bit temperamental? Well. Uh, you know, you know, it serves the model. Remember, who Naomi Campbell? She's not just a model. She's one of the biggest campaigners for anti-racism and for inclusion in the modeling world. Mm -hmm. So it's very convenient for the for that world to attach that label to her to divert the attention of what she's talking about. Now we see her efforts are paying are paying off. You have a now a Kenyan model, and it's just far too few, too late. Mm -hmm. But she's. She's a great campaigner, but let's bear in mind the, 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 the big black and dangerous report, which, which showed that actually yeah. that, that, that the perception of, of black people, if they're big and black, you read dangerous. And I think that's what's going on ah. there. That you say, a black woman, successful, powerful, and she's black, you must be angry. But, but what about the, the white women who are angry? I know a lot of, I mean, I know a lot of white and Asian women that are angry. Right. <laughs> what, what, what about that? They're all angry. <laughs> Richard, have you come across an angry black woman or do you think this is a really dangerous myth? Honestly, I agree with what David just said. Um, I think that is a very dangerous myth indeed because, in fact, it's not really about an angry black woman at all. It's really about a confident, it's about an assertive, it's about a strong black woman that perhaps knows where she's going throughout life. And perhaps that's what a lot of people find dangerous and suddenly stereotype to think it's actually an angry black woman. I don't think it's like that at all. So have you, have you walked across a dance hall to ask a, 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 a black or white woman to dance? And has she been approachable? And, and no, thank you, thanks for asking for the dance. Is that, what, what's your experience? Uh, I guess I'm too busy to ask a lady to dance in the first place. <laughs> You're a pastor <laughs> I got no idea. Uh, yeah, now I've got to be a whole lot more careful too. Um, <laughs> but I'll look at that. But no, um, I've, I've never really had any really kind of bad experiences, of, you know, with, with, a, with a black lady that I can stereotype to be mm. angry black women in that kind of sense. You know, I've got four sisters, you know, they're mm. very comfort individuals, they're very self-assured and yeah. they're not angry at all. But so, hold on, is it a lie? And let's, let's bring it out to men as well, because there's a lot of people that think black men are angry men. Uh, Richard, have you ever sort of had, uh, come across this, this sort of anger? But, you know, you know, a black man's walking towards you with a hoodie, he's an angry black man. Do you not ever... Feel. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, I, I live in London, right? And uh, you know, 
you know, you know, every single day you come across different mm. types of people throughout London, mm. you know, and now and again you come across a young guy wearing a hoodie and stuff and um, he's looking down. Do you think anger? Do you think anger? I'm not thinking anger, I just think mm. troubled. <laughs> uh, see you next time on Real Talk. Keep talking and keeping it real till next time. Take care. Oh, well done.